Walk forward. Looks in magnificent order, this horse. John O'Shea's turned him out beautifully today. He's about to move in. Now, tickets coming forward. Turnpoint Skylight Stakes. They're all in. Manhattan Rain dived at the front of the gates. Now they stand well. Racing, Manhattan Rain broke very quickly from gate number four. He was the best into stride and led from El Toro. He went, Water News is starting to pick up some ground. Uh, one more, no more is not all that far away today. And then the Mikado in the inside from Mystery's Cat getting a slight check. Then came uh, Romanus back on the inside from Fine Drop. And then came further back, Sir Gwyn Newman Nugget. And Tickets is out the back last of all. And he got into trouble there. Mystery's Cat racing greenly around him. And he had the checks. Manhattan Rain the leader at the 6.50, led by a length of El Toro, the first starter. Then one more, no more, covering ground on the outside. Foreign News trying to kick up in the centre. The Mikado is railing up into a nice position. Then came Romanus. He went whoosh. Fine drop followed further back in behind them next by Yuma Nugget. And Tickets has come to the extreme outside, but he's six away. And Manhattan Rain, he turned him loose and away he goes. The Mikado in the end, neck and a length and a half away. Then one more, no more. And Tickets is getting wound up down the outside. Manhattan Rain's well clear with 150 to go. Led from the Mikado. He's going further ahead, Manhattan Rain. He's got it one, hands and heels. And he wins it by about a length and three quarters on the Mikado. Romanus third. Then Tickets, I'd forget that run, followed by one more, no more. Then Yuma Nugget, followed by He Went Wash and Drop. Then Foreign News, who was never travelling at any stage from Sir Gwyn. El Toro and Mystery's Cat was very green and he caused a lot of interference and he dropped away and finished last of all. What is this horse's worth now? Manhattan Rain, and in Costa de Lago, half-brother to Redoute's Choice. He's now a Group 3 winner, and he's taken out the Skyline Stakes in most impressive fashion. He's really sweated up. It hasn't deterred from the performance here as he's taken out this slipper lead-up in a most, fa most dominant fashion. Tickets, you can excuse that run. If you see around the, the back of the course here, his head's up. He gets all sorts of interference. But the Mikado, the cheapie of the field, nine, he was second. And number three, Romanus getting into third place. Four, nine, and three, the numbers. Carol, I'm not trying to be a smarty follower in the race and I interviewed John I said in the preview I still think Tickets is a player come Golden Slipper Day but today he was going to have a lot of things against him and that's the way it panned out the winner's pretty smart though and I think he's the real deal I think he's in the Golden Slipper the Mikado as you said he's had a few little issues but it was a super run he got the perfect run from the barrier and Romanus has run third the winner's Manhattan Rain it's no coincidence Caroline that the Mikado sat behind him Romanus sat behind him and they've run the four Nine and three, officially fourth, number one tickets just in front of number five. One more, no more. Four, nine, three, Nash Rewilla, a good boost to him. I thought he handled um, the disappointment of Darren Beeman. for the Sydney Children's Hospital size produce stakes. Goes up. And the last one delayed will be Phenomenal Lass. They're all in. Two-year-old's about to jump away. Racing in the size, tickets began brilliantly on the outside. He's got his head in front early on. Manhattan Rain and one more, no more. And there goes Ross Dover bursting out of the pack. He wants to lead on Ross Dover, but Manhattan Rain's trying to go with it early. It's Ross Dover just in front. Manhattan Rain will hand up to it and drop back to second for rising. And then came Romanus. Uh, tickets after jumping well, finds himself out wide, feeling ready. He's pinching runs up along the inside to save ground. And then came Delago Bolt, one more, no more. 
And last of all, Phenomenal Lass. They go to the side of the track and he put the brakes on Rostover. Manhattan Rain moving a little bit closer at the 800. And then came Ticket striding up into third wide without cover and he's pulling hard. Romanus on the rail, New Day rising the centre. And then Feel and Ready back on the inside. He's buried away there at the moment. Delago bolts outside of him with one more, no more. And last is Phenomenal Lass. The leader, Rostover, she quickened up again and got a break on Manhattan Rain and led by over a length. And then came back behind them next is Romanus. Tickets is on the outside. He's had a tough run. Now Feel back along the rail, still about five lengths off, starting to wind up. And then came New Day rising. Rostover led, but Manhattan Rain's the first to come at it on the outside. And Tickets is going as well. No Feel and Ready today. It's Manhattan Rain in front. Tickets on the outside is trying to gun it down. Manhattan Rain's finding plenty on the inside. Side, and Gay wins another Sires. Manhattan Rain won it from Tickets and Rostover. Then one more, no more. Back behind we had uh, Romanus followed by Delago, Bob feeling ready. Well, he was a different horse today and then came Phenomenal Lass and last in was New Day Rising. What price this colt? Manhattan Rain. He's by the champion Australian stallion in Costa de Lago. He is a half-brother to a former champion stallion, Reduce Choice, who's leading the sires list at the moment. He is now a Group 1 winner to AJC Sires Produce Stakes. Tickets, he was gallant in defeat. He just couldn't get past this big, strong colt. The half to Reduce Choice, Platinum Scissors, Sliding Cube and Co. And this horse is worth a fortune. A great ride there in the end by Nash Rewiller as well. A lot of scrimmaging through the run, Rich, but Manhattan Rain, the big, strong colt, has taken out the Group 1. Yeah, four. 1,400 metres is always going to be to his liking. I'm glad we found him today, Manhattan Rain. And as you said, Caroline, now that he's got that Group 1, we had Darcy on, of course, Thoroughbreds, and also on the road to the Triple Crown. He now values him at somewhere around the $15 million mark because he's so well-bred, and he's a two-year-old winner. Ross Dover, she was there, she skipped, but then really when they come to the business end, she just wasn't strong enough. Manhattan Rain reeled him in, then tickets. I thought he had them covered, but he just kept on coming, and Manhattan Rain, as tough as they come, and what about the other one? One more, no more. Cider really appreciated the 1,400 metres. A few flops in the race, Caroline. New Day Rising ran officially last, beaten a long way. And I don't think Phil and Reddy ever travelled after the first turn when he got a real big squeeze on the inside. Oh, look, there he is, uh, the big colt, Manhattan Rain. Well, the owners, they kept the full relation to this. was meant to go through the Easter sale. They've kept it. They knew how good this horse was. He, was, he is now a great one. Thanks, Caroline. Well, what an outstanding performance. So you think. Lining up now for Glenn Boss. In he goes. And Manhattan Rain to take the outside gate next to El Segundo, who pulls the ground. He's ready to get on with it. They're set. Ready. Racing in the Cox Plate. And Rock Kingdom bomb the start. Who have you got to alongside him in the way OK? So you think of the flyer and Manhattan Rain from the outside again fast. Heart of Dreams and Road to Rock on the inside with Zipping down to the judge. So you think goes to the lead. Heart of Dreams took tightened at the turn out of the straight. And the three-year-olds are 1-2 to the 1600. It's So You Think a length and a half two in front. Manhattan Rain. Third placing held by Heart of Dreams. Road to Rock fourth the inside. Two lengths away, Zipping who's on the outside of Vision and Power. A length and a half at the 1,500 metres is Norm de Jus, and then came Rock Kingdom. They're followed by Black Piranha, and two links who be got Joel Segundo. Speed Gifted is back last of all. So it's So You Think the leader. Out to the 1,200 metres in the Cox Plate. He leads by three. He runs along Manhattan Rain second. Two and a half Heart of Dreams, and they're followed then by Road to Rock. 
Almost a length away is Zipping being trailed further back, Vision and Power. Scenic Shot commencing a move at the 1,000 metres. Two lengths, Nom de Jour, Rock Kingdom. Two and a half lengths further back is Black Piranha. Oliver riding the patient race on Who Be Got You, trailed by El Segundo and Speed Gifted. So you think, went round a turn. Leads by a length and a half, Manhattan Range. Scenic Shot was off early. Around him then Zipping, and there followed two and a half lengths away is Heart of Dreams. Road to Rock on the inside, then Vision and Power. Rock Kingdom and Hoobie Got You pulls out the starting move. It's So You Think Narrowly from Manhattan Range. Scenic shot. Zipping's under the whip. Heart of Dreams starting to come home. Hoobie Got You's running on. Then came Road to Rock around the turn. So You Think it's about a half in front of Manhattan Range and the three-year-olds lead by two or three. Hoobie Got You running on with Heart of Dreams. So You Think led by two lengths. He shook off Manhattan Range. Hoobie Got You and El Segundo charging home and it's all over. So You Think is going to go all the way. He's racing clear, and so you think, has bolted in the Cox Plate. Man ran second. The three-year-olds, Quinella and Zipping, came back. I think he might have got third from El Segundo. That's a photo. Scenic shot next, and then Hoobie got you. And Heart of Dreams, they didn't finish the race off. Further back in the field, of, at the head of the others, is Rock Kingdom, Vision and Power. Road to Rock, followed then by Black Piranha. And back to the tail of the field is Nom de Jour and Speed Gifted. Probably the greatest training triumph that Bart Cummings has produced in his entire career. What a there are not words to describe it, and Glenn Boss went forward, and the race was as good as over. He got it so easy in front. They came at him down the side of the track, but he was travelling, travelling like a winner a long way out. Never going to get beat, Shane, and I can't say anything about Bart because he's just too good. And uh, let's start uh, talking. We'll, we'll look build up Bart for the next week at now, but let's have a talk about this horse. Here's one of Cox Plate at his fifth start in the race. It's only his second win. He's done it by going straight to the front, leading all the way, and absolutely smashing a pretty good fit. We might have seen the start of a superstar career here. The other three-year-olds run second. Amazingly, Zipping, our pick, who appeared to be gone for all money, has rallied. He's run third, but... What a dominant win, Terry. I El, just... El Segundo's got fourth, Shane. Who got you never going to win? There was only one horse that was ever going to win that race. And it's all an extraordinary. Yeah. There it's Ollie soaking up the moment on Apache Cat. We'll just wait for this when Bossy <laughs> comes back on this horse. He's going to let loose. Oh, He'll well. let loose. But this is amazing, this. He's now won the two-rack handicap bar. He's won the Caulfield Cup with last year's Melbourne Cup winner. He's produced this horse at his fifth start in the Cox Plate. That's right. Start number five in the hottest weight for age the Southern Hemisphere. He's led all the way and bolted in. I don't know where he is today, but whether uh, Bruce has been able to get him. But uh, I don't know. Words just can't describe this. Have a look at the margin. Bruce, okay, let's go to I, don't know, I don't know what you're going to say about this man.